वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज प्रियंद्र कुमार एंड दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ अल्टीमेट स्पीडोमीटर वीडियो एंड द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस डायल दिस आर्क एंड दिस ग्लोसी वॉल नीडल्स एंड दिस शेप ओके नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट दीज इंडिकेटर्स एंड हाउ टू रोटेट द नीडल्स ऑटोमेटिकली okay so first of all and the last video we also have check the maximum rotation of this needle can be 248 degree so let me tell you go to the format shape and here we will select size and properties so if i will put the degree of 248 then it will be reached uh, at the end means the 100% okay so that's why we will use the rotation angle 0 to 248 degree so now i'll write the small code to rotate this needle automatically so i'll go to the visual basic and here i'll go to the sheet 2 and i will select worksheet and from here i'll go to i'll select the change will they move the selection change we will need only worksheet change here now we'll select this we have make the group of this so this is the group 10 now we'll write the code to rotate this active sheet dot shapes dot range now we'll use array in array will give the group 10 dot select now selection dot shape range dot rotation equal to range so our for the first service level the range is c2 c2 sorry c2 multiply 248 so we have checked the maximum degree can be 248 that's why we are multiplying here by 248 dot value okay now check so if i will change 30 So let me remove the design mode from the developer tab. Now check forty. Okay, rotation is incorrect. Now check fifty. So again, again we have to remove the design mode so it's working now 100 0 now right click and we can send it to back okay so now we will create these uh, lines okay so creating these line we are at 0 then we'll create here now we can make a copy of this First of all, let me size it. Okay, now we'll change it as ten. First of all, let me. Every time when I change, then it's getting selected. so we have to select the worksheet so what i will do i'll write a line active sheet active cell dot select okay so now uh, we'll type here 10 first then i'll copy of this 
and we'll put it here right click go to the format shape and we'll change the angle of this from the uh, here in size and change the angle accordingly and we can keep it here now we will change the uh, service level as 20 now we'll make one more copy of this we can keep it here we'll change the angle of this and we'll adjust it similarly we can change it 30 then we'll copy this and keep it here 40 50 until the 100 okay friends so i'm key copying this and just pausing the video to saving the time okay so now i have created these lines now we'll insert the small lines within the big lines so we'll insert or we can just copy this and we can change the width as okay or we can take it as one right click go to the format and just rotate so we can keep it here we can make one more copy of this which can be kept here again copy and we can keep it here so we will rotate this and format and we'll create the second third and the till the last will keep the four lines within two line okay friends so i'm uh, creating this by pausing the video to saving the time i have created the small lines and now we will create the percentage numbers so i'll insert a tax box and put zero percent here let me format this change the size and we'll use shape fill as no fill shape outline as no line and we'll keep it here on zero make a copy of this and we will keep it here and here we'll use the 10 percent similarly for 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent till the 100 friends okay so i am copying this by stopping uh, this pausing the video i have created these number also now let's check it's working okay so uh, friends now we can keep this here or uh, we can change the size like that it's looking nice now we can go to the view and remove the gear lines now here we will use this shape and this service label and so what i will do i'll go to the insert and i will insert sorry i will insert a shape this one which is rounded rectangle and you can drag this yellow point to the right to make the rounded rectangle or the so we can remove the outline or we can select the shape in the theme like this is the uh, willow theme so i'll take this one now we can select select this shape and go to the formula bar press equal to and connect with the c2 we can change the formatting center center and the color as we'll take the font color as a white and we can use this one more text box for service level so I'll insert a tax box
and we can connect with the service level from here center center and go to the format shape fill as no fill shape outline as no outline and just keep it here so friends our speedometer chart is ready now we can give this artificial shadow effect so that it will look like in standing position so we can insert one oval like that remove the shape outline as no outline right click go to the format shape and we will fill here gradient fill the first fill will take as black darker black second is as white which is already there now type will select as path we can change the transparency for the black and for the white 100 percent okay now it's looking like a shadow of this so friends that's how you can create this speedometer and the other speedometer also the same just the color and uh, yeah, the gradient fill has been changed okay friends so please practice this i'll upload this excel file to my google drive you can download from there and you can use in your daily reports dashboards okay uh, friends i'll give the link in video description box i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for the watching